So that was one of the clutchest moves I have ever pulled at GameStop. Can the birthday pawn shop hunt luck continue on my actual birthday? Well, let's find out at La Familia, see what they can do. Let's go. Can I look at some of these games? PS4 or Xbox? Uh, a little bit, both actually. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Potentially interested in those. Yeah, they're all in there. Are those just ones that haven't gone out yet, or? Are those just ones that haven't gone out? Oh, really? Are they available for a dollar each now? Because I would love to look at them. Let's see what we got here. Dollar games, heck yeah. So three dollars? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna take three dollars. Oh, they're three dollars each, okay. All right, can I see the PS4 ones over there? Yeah, yeah. All right. Put that one back. Right. Pause for those two. Let me see if there's any any possible deal you could work with me. It's my birthday today, so I wanted to do a little little game hunting, trying to pick up some new stuff. So that one didn't have a. Oh no, it 
Yeah, that one doesn't have a case or a tag on it. It was just random sports game. Is that best deal on those? Yeah, I give you ten percent on almost all of them minus the two. Uh, the two three dollar ones. Yeah, they were like sixty nine percent. Okay, can I look at my stack real quick? Let's see if there's one I want to put back. Um. I'll put that one back. I'll keep the rest. It's a $10 one. Gotta love it when you can do some quick and easy bargain hunting, and I think I did very well in there. So as you saw, they had some solid titles, some of which were just a bit too high in price. They did have Returnal on PS5 and uh, Madden 22, but they were both like almost retail. So I'm like, yeah, I'm not, not spending that, especially because you can get both those games new right now for cheaper. But I picked up five games, technically six, because there was a bonus game, but, I did very well, and I did ask for the birthday discount. They did give me 10%, which is the least of all the other places, but considering how little I paid for all of these, I'm pretty happy. The most expensive game was $3.50, and the least expensive game was $2. I, I killed it. So first off, we have Left 4 Dead 2 on the Xbox 360. Now, if you don't know, Left 4 Dead 2 has some strong value at GameStop trade this in for like $11 plus there's a bonus so for a grand total of like $3.50 100% gonna grab it and it was in pretty good shape too so happy to score that now as you saw in the clip they did have a little pile of games in the back that they were gonna charge for three bucks well originally they told me a dollar and I'm like well a dollar I'm gonna scoop up several of them but when they bumped it up to three I'm like that's still good but not as amazing so I put back Batman Arkham Knight since I already have it I did pick up a couple though that I think were good. One to flip and one to keep. First off, we have Borderlands 3 on the PS4. Now, I didn't think Borderlands 3 had a lot of trade-in value, but it has more than you think. I think it's worth like $8 in trade-in. So I figured, well, I'll grab it. I guess it's not on sale everywhere anymore like it used to be. And I'll flip that in to GameStop for a nice little profit. And then the other one is a game I have technically a physical copy of, but, or not physical copy, I have digitally, but I don't have a physical copy of it. I'd like to own it physically. We Happy Few on the Xbox One. I bought this back when it was in early access, so I have a digital copy of it, but I would not at all mind to have a physical copy as a backup. So, pretty happy. And that's the first game from a now xbox game studio studio compulsion who's working on something new apparently all right the last two i'm pretty pretty st stoked about first of all this one is one i've been looking for for a long time and as soon as i saw it i'm like well i have to get that call of duty black ops on the xbox 360. this is the final call of duty game that i need to do my video where i play every call of duty game until i defeat an enemy I needed to have them all on Xbox or PlayStation 4 because that's how I can stream them onto Twitch and use the Twitch streams to make the video. I only had Black Ops on PS3 for the longest time. I needed to find a 360 copy. I finally found one. It is in a GameStop case and the disc has some scratches, but it should work. Happy to have it. Now I can actually make that video and maybe that'll be a holiday video this year. We'll see. And then this one I got is kind of a, a double score. So I saw this case and it had FIFA 20 on the PS4 in it. It's a blank case. It also didn't have a price, which that's immediately interesting. So then I opened it up and underneath FIFA 20, it's Crash Insane Trilogy. That's where it's trade in. So essentially I paid for FIFA 20, even though that's not worth anything and got Crash as a bonus disc. And Crash has, I think, $8 in trade-in, something like that. I traded in fairly recently. So I easily have doubled the amount of money that I spent. I'm going to keep Black Ops and We Happy Few. And I got an extra case, too, for $15. Can't go wrong. So another successful game hunting trip. I think I got one more pawn shop in me. And I, it's ironically one of the pawn shops I've already hit. Actually, it was the first one that I hit for this trip because they happened to have several copies of Madden 21. And I didn't think that game had any value. Turns out right now GameStop is taking Madden 21 for $8 in trade-in and the 50% bonus. So I can get $12 for a copy of Madden 21. 
Most pawn shops for an old sports game are gonna sell it for dirt cheap. So I'm gonna try to get it for dirt cheap. So let's head over to the first value pawn and see if I can pick up some Madden 21s and maybe some other stuff for dirt cheap. Let's go. I know, I know, I was just here, but maybe I missed something and because it's my actual birthday, maybe I'll get an even better deal. Let's go inside, see if we can find anything. Morning. What's up? Let's see what we got today. Could I take a look at a few games though? Of course. Alright. Uh, underneath that stack of. Yeah, there's a Fallout, the top one. Yeah, the top one. Okay, possibly this one. And then uh, the Madden 21, old Madden. <laughs> What's that case that doesn't have a label on it? Right next to Battlefield. This one? Well, that one too. Let's see what that one is. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. Okay, that one's fine. Call of Duty World War II. Okay, cool. Let's see if there's anything else. Hey, can I see that Naruto game? All right, you might be interested in those three. Yeah, it's my birthday today, so I'm doing a little, little game hunting. Thank you, thank you. So if you could work me a deal, that'd be great. <laughs> Done. I'll do it. Well, as you saw, they didn't really get anything new since I was there last time, but I did find some stuff that I missed. And I did very well on all of these because I just looked up the trading values and they're all worth quite a bit. So first off, like I mentioned, Madden NFL 21 on the PS4. It's last year's sports game. You wouldn't think this would have any value. You'd be incorrect. GameStop is currently taking this game for $9 in trade-in. Plus the 50% bonus, it's worth $14 in trade-in. And I paid five out of pocket for it. Excellent pickup. Next one is Fallout New Vegas, the ultimate edition on the Xbox 360. I already have this in the regular Xbox 360 case. This one actually trades in for a pretty good amount, not nearly as much as the other two, but I paid five bucks for it and it's worth like eight, so not bad. And then this one, I don't know why he gave it to me for so cheap, but I ain't complaining because one series you should always look out for because GameStop values it a lot is the Naruto game. So we have Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 4 Road to Boruto on the PS4. This is worth like $16 in trade in. I paid $2 for it. $2. So not a bad day. I spent less than $30 and I'm going to get probably 80 to 90 in trading credit. <laughs> not a bad day. And these three were 12. So now let's head to GameStop. I'm not going to use the Game Hunt cam this time just because I don't know how long I'm going to be in there. And also it's, I don't know, it's a little more cringy in GameStop than it is in pawn shops. And I already did it once. But yeah, I'm going to head into GameStop. I'm going to train in all these games and see what I come away with. Well, I've rated basically every pawn shop I can get to. So let's hit GameStop, trade in this latest batch, see how much credit I get. So that was one of the clutchest moves I have ever pulled at GameStop. So let me put this into perspective for you. I spent a total of $27 on the games I traded into GameStop. 27. I got $83.20 in trading credit. That's pretty insane. It gets better. So I originally was gonna buy Life is Strange True Colors, which I have coming to me via GameStop.com, but it's not supposed to arrive till like next weekend. And they had a copy in stock for cheaper than what I bought it for on GameStop.com. So I figured what I could do is trade or like buy a new copy and return the copy that I paid $30 for 
and get my money back. But they didn't have the case, which that immediately makes it not worth doing. So then I found a pre-owned copy of Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. It was the Xbox Series version, but it said Xbox One, but when they put the disc in, it was the Xbox One version, so it wasn't worth getting anyway. But then I realized something. I looked on GameStop's website, and they had an item that I've been meaning to pick up for a long time on sale for $15 off. I also had enough points for a $10 GameStop reward. The combination of those two things has allowed me to acquire essentially a $100 Blue Yeti microphone for $27. If you don't know what this is, this is a very, very high quality USB mic. A lot of people use it for podcasting, a lot of stuff. I'm going to use it, obviously for videos, obviously for recording stuff, and for streaming. But yeah, I got a Blue Yeti for $27. Insane. And I still have $8 in credit left over. So, I mean, how can you do better than that? You really can. So yeah, needless to say, my birthday game hunting adventure has been pretty amazing. Alright, so, I thought I was done game hunting. Then I found a Five Below. Five Below often carries cheap video games, so I'm like, you know what? Let's go look inside, see what we can find. So let's head into Five Below, see if there's anything worth picking up. All right, so here's the little gaming section. As you can see, they have a blowout of NBA 2K21 on the Xbox One and the PS5. They also got Borderlands, the pre-sequel on Xbox 360 and Elder Scrolls Online. So not amazing, but I think I'm gonna pick up a 2K21 on the PS5, so that way I have two PS5 games in my collection. It's not a bad option. So I totally didn't notice this bin of games in the front. There's different games. They have Titanfall on Xbox 360, Borderlands the pre-sequel, Elder Scrolls Online on PS4, and the one that I'm picking up, NBA 2K21 on the Series X. So I'm gonna switch that one out the PS5 copy since I can play it. And yeah, another game, that's it collection. All right, so I am back from all of the game hunting that I did over this past weekend. And it is time for a recap. So like we've done in the past, I'm gonna ignore all the games I traded in because I traded in a lot of stuff, but I will give you the final totals because I got a lot of trading credit. So if you add up all the stuff that I traded in, the total value is $88.50. That's how much I spent. The total value in trading credit is $242. And 80 cents. That's insane. Well more than double, almost a triple up and quite a bit too. So you can definitely do well if you know how to find games for cheap and flip them to GameStop at the right time. And the stuff I got is pretty darn impressive. So of course, because it is my birthday week, I had to pull the, the old classic of, hey, it's my birthday. Can you work me a deal? And it definitely worked. Thankfully, the nice thing is pretty much all the pawn shops that I visited, I go to on a fairly regular basis. So everyone there knows me. They know who I am. I go there all the time. I get stuff from them all the time. So it didn't take a lot of convincing for them to give me a deal. And some of them, it took very little convincing to give me an amazing deal. So we're going to start off with Simple Pawn. And you cannot tell me that Simple Pawn did not hook me up because it's one of those rare occasions, incredibly rare occasions, where I left the pawn shop with four items for free. Yeah, as you saw in part one, I picked out four games, asked them how much they wanted, they gave them to me for free. You really can't beat that. None of them are high value, but I figure I'll add them to the collection regardless. So we're gonna start off with Bakugan Battle Brawlers on the Wii. I don't really know what Bakugan is, it was an anime. Uh, I think there's something to do with top, like basically tops. What's kind of weird is it has the manual for a different Bakugan game in it, which is really bizarre. I don't know why, but I mean, that's kind of cool, I guess. So paid nothing and this is worth $6. Next game is Top Spin 2 on the Xbox 360, a realistic tennis sim. Top Spin used to be exclusive to the original Xbox and then Microsoft sold the rights to all their sports franchises to 2K. So now we have Top Spin 2 on, I believe, multiple platforms. I might be wrong. 
Anyway, I paid nothing, and this is worth four dollars. So again, not not a ton of value, but that's okay. This one I'm curious about. Uh, they, I did look it up. They do take a version of this game on at GameStop, but not the Xbox 360 version. I think it's just the Wii version, and it's only worth like a dollar. So I'd rather keep it in that front. TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the Xbox 360. Uh, this one looks pretty fun. I paid nothing it's worth twelve dollars so this one actually has a little bit of value and then lastly we have legends of the guardians the owls of kahul for the xbox 360 it's a movie based game based on the animated film it's complete it might be a fun time for a few hours at least paid nothing and this is worth eight dollars so four games for free can't really do much better than that so always a good time anyway next we're gonna go to cash america where I picked up a couple games, not that many, but a couple. I traded in three games and picked up four. Apparently I have a pretty heavy uh, Xbox 360 week because I got some good stuff from 360. So for starters, we have Sniper Ghost Warrior on the Xbox 360. This one, it's in a steel book. The steel book's kind of damaged. It's not in the greatest shape. I did resurface the disc, so it should play fine. I paid a dollar for this and it is worth $5. So not a ton of value, but hey, it's a 360 game for a dollar. I'm not going to say no. And since we got the first one, let's get the second one. Sniper Ghost Warrior 2 on the Xbox 360. It was there. I figured, why not? Uh, paid a dollar for this one, and it is worth $9. Then we have the History Channel Civil War, A Nation Divided on the Xbox 360. It's a first-person shooter based on the Civil War. I've heard it's not that great, but I'm like, you know, again, it's a complete Xbox 360 game for a dollar. Might as well add it to the collection. Paid a dollar, and this one is worth $12. So this one actually has a little bit of value. And then we also have History Channel Legends of War Patton. This one is a strategy game, so it's actually a different genre than the other History Channel game. And it looks interesting. Again, not a game I've really seen before, so I figured might as well add it to the collection. Paid a dollar, and this one is worth eight. So. Not bad when you pick up eight 360 games for $4, essentially. Four were free, and then those four for a dollar each. I also picked up two PS4 games, one of which I was really excited about, one of which I originally intended to flip. I didn't, only because it just isn't worth flipping. So I'm like, well, I'll hold on to it. Worst comes to worst, I have it in my collection, but hopefully the value will go up. We'll see. We have WWE Battlegrounds on the PS4. This is only worth like a dollar in trade in at GameStop currently. So it wasn't worth flipping. Even with the bonus, I get $1.50 and I paid three for this out of pocket and it is worth 15. So I have a feeling because of GameStop's deals and stuff going on, that's why this value has tanked, but I'll give it time and it'll probably go back up and I'll trade it in then. And then this one, I thought Corey had a copy of this. Apparently he did not. But I'm excited to own it because I've heard good things. And this is a really clean, complete copy. We have Fist of the North Star Lost Paradise on the PS4. This is the same studio who makes the Yakuza games. It looks like a kind of a brawler. It looks really interesting. And this is really complete. When I say that, it has DLC codes. The disc is very perfect. And my favorite thing that I didn't discover until later, it has a sticker sheet. And some of the stickers, I want to use them, but I also want to keep this just complete, just because I think it'd be it'd be a good idea. <laughs> it has a sticker that says shit balls on it. And then uh Heidi Boo and stuff. So that's pretty funny. I I am amused by the fact that I have a sticker sheet that has shit balls on it. I think that's funny. But yeah, I think I'm gonna keep the, the sticker sheet in the case because that's where I found it. So that way I can say that this copy is very clean and very complete. So this was $5 and this one was a really good deal actually. Uh, it's worth 23. So very happy to add that to the collection. Next up, we're going to Value Pond, a different Value Pond where I picked up a nice handful. Most of the games I traded in, I did keep, I think, one or two of them. I kept one game on the Xbox One, and this is a game I do not see very often, so I figured it was worth the pickup. We have The Invisible Hours on the Xbox One. This is a game made by Game Trust, which is GameStop's publishing arm. 
I don't think they publish games anymore, honestly. It's made by Tango Tequila Works, sorry. And uh, it looks interesting. It looks kind of like a murder mystery game. It was $5 and it's worth six. So not a ton of value, but for a game like this, I'm willing to pay five bucks just for the curiosity. So nice little additional game. And it's not a game I see very often. So I figured it was worth the pickup. Next up, we are going to go to La Familia where I picked up a whole bunch of really, really good games to trade in. Now, one game I'm not gonna show just cause I, I made it disc only and put it in my little binder of disc only games is I got FIFA 20. That one was mostly there as a throw in because the game underneath it was the one I really wanted. There was a bonus disc and that bonus disc was worth a lot of trading credit. So I paid for FIFA 20 and got something worth well over 20 bucks. But FIFA 20, technically I paid $2. For FIFA 20, it's worth three, but the game underneath it was really what I wanted, which was worth like 20 bucks in trade-in. So anyway, I did also pick up a couple other games at La Familia that I kept, and these are both, I think, pretty solid additions to the collection. First off, we have We Happy Few on the Xbox 360. They had a huge pile of games in the back, as you saw, that were $3 a piece. And I don't own a physical copy of this. I only own the digital one. So I figured, well, might as well get a physical copy for three bucks. Sure. Uh, so I paid three dollars for this and it is worth six. So not a ton of value, but again, might as well grab it. I, I like the little bit that I played a Wii Happy Few. I need to try to get back into it, but pretty cool. And now I have a physical copy. But then this one I was very stoked about because I've been looking for a copy of this for a long time. I can trade it into GameStop because it does have some value, but it's more valuable to me because it completes my Call of Duty collection. <laughs> at least the ones that I care about. Call of Duty Black Ops on the Xbox 360. I needed a 360 copy of Black Ops so I can do a video that's gonna take some work and it's probably not gonna be out for a little bit. Maybe I'll have it up by the end of the year, we'll see. But 360 copy of Black Ops. I paid $2.70 for this. It's worth $8, so pretty happy to add that to the collection. Last, bef last stop before the, the GameStop haul, was Five Below, and Five Below is one of those places where they do on occasion have games. Usually it's nothing amazing, but sometimes they have some hidden gems. Like I think last year, or no, earlier this year, I picked up a PS4 game that actually had a little bit of value. I think it was Zone of the Enders, a remake of Zone of the Enders 2 on PS4. So I was pretty happy to get that. This time they, they had some games. They had a, actually quite a few different games and I could have picked up some to flip. I just didn't feel like it. Like it, it wasn't gonna be a huge bump in value. So I, I just left them there, but I did pick up one to add to the collection just because I was just amused at how cheap next gen game could be. I have a Xbox Series X version of NBA 2K21 on Series X. So this was $5. I could have got a PS5 version. I ended up getting this one because I can actually play it rather than waiting for the PS5. And this is worth $14, so not bad. All right, now we have GameStop. And I picked up some pretty awesome stuff at GameStop. Essentially three new games that are all new releases and something that's going to play a major role in the future. It's not yet, but it will give it time. So the first thing I picked up is Disco Elysium the final cut on the Series X. I've been curious about this game for a while. It's been out on PlayStation. They finally made a physical copy and they made it available on Xbox and Switch. So I had to pick it up. It looks interesting. It looks like a RPG, but with like a hard boiled detective and it's kind of set in modern day. It looks really interesting. It, it came out like a couple weeks ago. It was a $40 game. I paid for it entirely with credit, which is pretty nice. So it's worth $40. Next up, I picked up a couple Switch games. Both of these were brand new. One of them has more value than you think it would because it's a special edition. And I figured it would be worth a lot. So first off, we have Jackbox Party Pack 7 on the Switch, physical copy of the seventh Jackbox Party Pack. I have all of them up until eight. I don't have eight, which is the newest one that just came out, but this is only the second physical copy of the Jackbox games. I think the first one got a physical release, but all the rest have been digital only. So I'm like, okay, I'll take a physical copy of seven. Why not on the Switch? Paid 30, it's worth 30. And then here's the big one. I, I, I've i already put the, the big case away. So I just have the regular case, but you know, you get it. We have Danganronpa Decadence. This is the collector's edition. Uh, of course, this is just the regular case, but I have the collector's edition, which was a hundred dollars. Includes a bunch of cool stuff. 
I did an unboxing on the channel. If you want to check it out, it's already out. You can see all the stuff that was included in it. This game has some value. Any physical release of Danganronpa is worth something. This one is worth a pretty good amount. Paid a hundred bucks in credit. This is worth 150. There aren't that many listings right now on it, but I don't think there were that many made. So currently it's worth about $150 for the collector's edition. And I have it complete. And then last but certainly not least, this one was kind of a surprise. So on my birthday, I did a little bit more pond hunting, picked up a few extra things. And when I did it, I got a lot more credit than I thought. On top of that, GameStop had a sale on this particular item, and I also had a $10 reward. Long story short, I had enough to get this with credit that I paid a grand total of $22 for, and I still have $8 in credit left over. We have a Blue Yeti Blackout microphone. So this is gonna come in handy in a number of different things. Eventually, I do want to use it for streaming. That's gonna take some work though, because there's a bunch of other components I need to pick up, but I'm also gonna use this for videos, this is something I've been meaning to get for a while. I've wanted to get because I want to improve the video and audio, well, mostly the audio quality on my videos. And I figure having a really nice professional mic is really going to help with that. So this, I only paid technically $75 because I had a $10 reward and it was on sale for 85. It's worth a hundred dollars. Pretty solid. So yeah, good birthday week. I got a lot of great games, a lot of great additions to the collection. Nice collector's edition and a Blue Yeti, and didn't pay a whole lot for any of it. Can't go wrong. So that's going to do it for this massive three-part episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you on the next episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Bye-bye.